Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. <clears throat> it is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement that you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. We are jumping right in, Virgo. First and strongest energy of the week for you is the Magician card, Major Arcana. We also have here the Hangman, Major Arcana, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Very strong energy here. Hmm. There is something that someone is either not seeing, hasn't seen yet, or is taking the time so that they can see. Five of Cups. Lots of masculine energy here as well. Male or female, does not matter. This could be your energy or someone that you are connected to. And last card, the Sun card, Leo energy, Major Arcana. Three out of six, Major Arcana. And the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with the Pisces. Cancer or Scorpio. But there is an apology, I think, that someone wants to give you or you want to give somebody, however it applies. Someone that was maybe a little bit too self-focused here in the past. They were stuck in their own ways a little bit here. The magician is very self-focused energy. But with the four of pentacles, with the four of cups with it, it's like <sighs> I don't even know how to describe it. Because the four of pentacles on its own is a card of kind of um a bit bratty. It can be bratty, right? Someone that is not very happy with the way things are going. They're not really happy with usually their emotional, you know, situations. Something to do with their emotional situation. Not really finding what it is they're looking for, but they're also not seeing something that is right in front of them. Potentially missing an opportunity for what it is they're looking for, right? Definitely has something to do with perspective here. Where somebody's choosing to focus, because we have the hangman here, which is all about focus and perspective. Needing to sort of change direction or change, you know, standing points in order to see another perspective. Because it definitely looks like someone is not seeing something. Because the, the perspective is most likely on themselves. The focus on, is on themselves. They're self-focused. So it's going to be very hard to see what it is to, to be fulfilled. Or to, you know, if they're looking for ex connection and you're very self-focused, it's going to be hard to, co you know, coexist in connections. Or you're not going to really find connections that mesh because you're self-focused. And most likely people that you're connecting with are trying to be more collective focused, right? So definitely a perspective needs to change here, big time, because it is a major arcana. Also could be someone's perspective of themselves. Definitely could be someone's perspective of themselves needs to change. Because it's keeping them from what it is they're desiring. With the five of cups here, five energy of change. This is also about changing perspective. Being focused on all the wrong shit. He's focused on the cups that aren't uh, that don't have anything in them when there's two cups that are still very full behind him. Once again, if he changed perspective, if he stopped looking in this particular direction or focusing on that particular energy, he would see that there's still there's plenty. Just like this guy, <clears throat> most likely speaking about the same person here. But there is a heavy emphasis on someone that needs to either see themselves more clearly or stop being so self-focused. Or um, being able to be more open-minded, maybe. Or, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even think it's an open-minded thing. I just think they're focused on the wrong things. Very much so. Five of Cups can also be a sense of loss, which is what the Four of Cups was warning this person about. You know, if you continue to focus on the wrong shit, you're going to miss the opportunity. This is the missed opportunity, the Five of Cups. And now kind of sulking because the opportunity has been missed. Still focusing on the wrong thing, of course. But we do see some positive energy here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun card. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It's almost like he doesn't even see that there's happiness. There's happiness. He's just not choosing to focus on it. This is about going with the flow. Very much someone that needs to go with the flow. And the Eight of Pentacles is putting in the work. So I am getting an emphasis on someone's perspective of themselves. Maybe they think they're greater than they actually are and they still do need a bit of work. Or maybe that is the realization that I still need to do some work on myself. But at least the realization is had, especially with the sun card here. The realization is definitely going to be had, kind of tying back to the hangman. And with the page of cups, ace of wands, 
Definitely an apology here, an opportunity to start over. Could also be like lighting a match energy, like, you know, once this person has the realization, the match is lit. The Page of Cups can also be a sense of surprise energy too. But I also see the Five of Wands here and the Moon card. So the Five of Wands is drama, conflict. I also kind of think this is self-conflict. Or if this person um, being in this sort of energy has sort of caused any sort of conflict between you and them. Maybe an opportunity to um, fix that fear also with the Moon card. Or I'm also getting that this person doesn't show just how... <laughs> You know, on the outside, they seem very confident, very sort of got it going on. But w w deep down underneath the surface, they're a mess. Mm -hmm. They're a mess. <laughs> they're a mess. Two fives here as well. Energy of change. So I think that's the realization. I think someone has kind of been putting on a front. The perception of themselves has been very grand. And it's nothing wrong with having a grand perception of yourself. But it should it, it should at least be accurate. And I think someone is realizing they have they need to do a little bit more work to align to this perception of themselves. And then, then they then they can kind of, you know, allow good things to come in because there's good things here. We have the King of Cups, the Page of Wands, good news, Queen Queen of Wands. So water sign energy, um, Cancer Spicy Scorpio, and heavy emphasis on Sag Aries Leo. Sag and Leo. So this person could see you as someone very confident. You could be coming up as this queen of wands, whether you have fire in your chart or not. Or you could be perceiving someone else as very confident. Friend, family member, the person that you're with. Because the sun card, they both got sunflowers in them. So someone's looking at someone else and seeing how much someone else has it together. But it's like not uh, realizing that they still got some work to do. But it could also be a bit of intimidation or just, you know, not feeling good enough. Because there are emotions here, very clearly. Deep emotions. There is going to be some sort of communication here that this person, whoever this is representing, is going to communicate eventually. <laughs> and I say eventually because we have the King of Pentacles here, which is very slow-moving energy. Very slow-moving energy, but the King of Pentacles is someone you can depend on. Knight of Pentacles, sorry. Because I think the goal is, look, Ten of Cups, Hierophant. Yeah. Let's get some oracles. We all want, they, everybody wants somebody, but you know, we got to do the work. And I think that's what someone is realizing. It's not about sulking and be like, oh, why can't I have this? Or why can't I have that? Make, you know, align yourself, do the work. Make yourself feel worthy. Make yourself do the work until you feel worthy enough to have whatever it is you desire. Because that's half the reason why we don't really, you know, go after the things we want. Because low key, we don't feel worthy of it. We don't feel we deserve it. So it definitely needs to be, work needs to be done. We have calling in your soulmate, work on your partner, no, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. And we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone is also realizing that they have been blocking themselves. This king of cups is the same person as this magician and this four of cups and this five of cups. They're realizing it's, they, it's them that have been blocking themselves from receiving what it is they want. And kind of once the realization is had, the work starts and then flow can happen. Flow can happen. For some of you, this is a friend. There's definitely love between you and this person, whether it's romantic or platonic. But I do think you serve as some sort of inspiration to this person. True love at the bottom of the deck. Okay, where are we going next? Let's grab this one for you, Virgo. We have, if you believe, yeah, there we go. Bottom of the deck, be assertive. Get up and do it. Get up and get it done. If you don't feel worthy, do what, do, do, get the work done so you can feel worthy. It's like, oh, I don't deserve to be a, do what you need to do in order to align yourself to feel worthy of what it is you desire. That's all it is. No one's saying we all got to feel worthy right off the bat, but we work towards it. We work on it. That means there's work to do. It's like if I want to compete for a bikini competition <laughs> right now, obviously, I'm not going to feel worthy. But guess what? If I get up and do the work in a year from now, I bet you I, <laughs> I'll be up there strutting my stuff proudly because I did the work and now I do feel worthy. Get it? OK, that's just an example. Believe in yourself. I mean, 
You have, if you believe, believe in yourself, squirrel spirit now. Confidence. Someone has a surface confidence right now. They need to actually get, they need to accumulate some real confidence. That's also what the sun card is about. That Leo energy is all about confidence. Being sure within yourself regardless of where you're at, knowing that you can if you try. So whoever you're dealing with could have some sort of surface confidence. It may look like they're confident, but they're not. You know, there's not enough there. But soon. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Soon. Soon they will. We also have more Pisces Cancer energy with the moon card. In time, the realization will be had. And the work will commence with the Eight of Pentacles. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Okay, we have two cards. We have Opening My Mind. I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. I mean, there you go. Dispelling sadness. I will feel better once I get the rest that I need. Okay, what do we have next? We'll grab this one for you, Virgo. That is for Virgo, please. It is safe for you to love. Some of you could also be pushing away people that genuinely mess with you or genuinely want to be in your life because there's a sense of not feeling worthy. That's also a thing. We have, they'll be back. <laughs> I expect to hear from them soon. Okay. If you were wondering, that is please for Virgo. Oh, that's too many. I'll take the first two. And there you are. Hold your vision. And you are good enough. <laughs> Full moon in Virgo. For some of you, it's you that needs to do a little bit of uh, work. You, f you know, you feel like you can't have something because you don't feel worthy, low key. So to do what you got to do, whatever it is, if you want to, you know, run a marathon, start running little bits a day. If you want to, you know, s s be a, in a certain tax bracket, start saving more, you know, start doing the things, start doing the things. You are good enough. There you are. There you have it. Couldn't say that better myself. That is please for Virgo. Maybe there's a, some of you need to be more self-focused. You're focused on other things other than self. You've been you you focus externally. That could also be what this magician um, Four of Cups is about. There needs to be more focus on self and less on external things. Okay, and we have here Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. Okay, that is your reading, Virgo. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.